habitats that are in the river. In these different habitats will have different bugs living in them. Um, so the high oxygen areas uh, where the water is flowing over rocks will be um, different to the rocky areas that are um, just under the water a bit further upstream. There's lots of vegetation. Um, the wood snag is a really important area uh, where there'll be bugs breaking down the dead and dying wood. Um, this area in here as well where it's a bit still um, because the creek's flowing a lot, this will actually have different stuff in it as well because not all bugs like high flow. Some, some things prefer still water. So this gives a little bit of a still water habitat in a flowing um, creek environment. So we just want to make sure that in our 10 minutes of sampling, we're getting a good diversity of habitats to try and get all of the bugs that, we, um, that will be present in this, in this creek. So... start downstream and work our way up um, we're going to do this 10 meter stretch in 10 minutes um, and we, we do our two sample methods that, that you learn at training so our sweep sample where we use the net to sweep around in the vegetation along the edges to sweep to create that flow and then scoop back through it so we're not trying to get the vegetation in our net. We're just trying to loosen things, loosen bugs that are on the vegetation off into the net with the creating the flow um, over the vegetation. And then we have the kick sample. So the kick sample, we put our net downstream. There's a good flow today, so this will be easy. So we put our net downstream. up what we're picking up from the, from the floor of the creek. So we will end up with some bits of vegetation in there. We don't want too much of that. So anything that you pick up, make sure, if you want to chuck it out of the sample, make sure you rinse it off before chucking it out. Because we don't want to lose anything that might be um, clinging to that. It's freezing also, so maybe you won't want to rinse off too much. So if we have less water, um, yeah, we can we can put all of this sample just into a couple of trays, and it'll make it easier to pick everything out. Oh, got some good stuff in there already. Um, you can sort of put your net at the yeah, and then and then give it a little kick. So if you put your net net down. Yeah, we'll do, we wait, I'll um, just grab the timer. Oh, do you have the, the time Perry? Um, oh, beautiful. The watch. Old, oh, good old fashioned watch. watch. Yeah, when the eight. Yeah, it's pretty, it would be pretty cool. <laughs> it's, yeah, and it's very convenient with the rocks, yeah. like that's your marker. So we, could, we always know we're doing the same spot here. Would you, um, would you, or if you 
wooden. Why is it okay. um, so <laughs> Ask the question and then I'll answer it. Okay, so uh, do you need to put that to work or like in the clothes? Yep. Yep, yep. So yeah, so that's what we just do is we do is just put the the um net just on the edge on the of the side? well so where they'll the bugs that like to live in high flow you'll they'll get um so on, on top of the rocks they'll be lost. But also that, out a bit, George? those rocks here yeah. are providing a very similar um so we don't need to need to sample over the other side because this habitat up here is providing a similar thing so we can get we can get the downstream side of the rocks up there and we can get the upstream, upstream side of the rocks here so it makes it a bit easier to sample that. Okay. Are they just everywhere, these mosquito fish? Just about. Mm. Well, once I get rid of the car. Whoa! <laughs> so with the signal scores... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm going to end over my teeth. So with <laughs> goodness, I've never seen this many shrimp. Um, look at them. Look at them. <laughs> um... So we're still just trying to get different things? Or? Yeah, so we're still trying to get different things. You don't need to catch everything. Yeah, so you don't, need do... to, you don't need to catch like all the yeah. sleeping bag caddis you find. Yeah, yeah. The we idea is an try an and get a, yeah. a different bug. Look at the size though, look. Look at that. You don't count fleas, do you? Uh, fleas. Mites. Do, uh, mites, yes. Oh, you do. But we basically, we don't... So there's, there's mites and then there's these tiny things called microcrustaceans. Basically, if you can't see any features on it, and it, you, all you see is a moving dot, mm -hmm. it's too small. Because we can't, if we can't see any features on it, we can't identify it. And if we can't identify it, we don't need to catch just it. Give a bit more water to them. Get them animals down here a bit because they're starting to dry out if they 